What is up YouTube? Calvin from I-95 Muscle coming at you today, this time with a 1990 Mazda Miata. Has to be the nicest one I think I've ever seen in person, at least the early 90s one. Um, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It does have new paint, and when I say new paint, I mean five-year-old paint, but looks brand new. This is amazing. So, a uh, hard top painted the match at the same time so that's cool these OEM hard tops are about two thousand dollars to buy so definitely good value being that it's included in the purchase of the car we got some pretty nice wheel and tire combo going on this thing has tons of upgrades I'm sure you saw the hard dog uh, roll cage in the back there let's go ahead and check out the interior then we'll get under the hood so 82,000 miles on this guy. It is a manual. And I gotta say, being 6'1", with uh, about 250 pounds of heft on me, um, I fit in here like a dream with this hardtop. So the hardtop is sweet. We do have uh, CD player, AC works, wipers work. Like everything inside is very nice and works really good. That is a premium soft top as well. So the premium soft top has the uh, the glass back window. Whereas uh, the non-premium soft top would have the plastic back window, which kind of wrinkles up and looks terrible over time. So under the hood, you're gonna see it's very, very clean. We do have some Tain coilovers. Uh, they are adjustable. And then a full Mishimoto cooling system. Uh, super clean engine bay. Like, I don't think you could ask for a cleaner engine bay. It's so clean. Uh, the clutch has been upgraded. It's a Flying Miata clutch kit. I think it's a stage two. So, super clean. And for what the seller's asking on this thing, I think it's a steal. So let's pop these headlights up and check them out here. Pop up nice and fast. And there is a reason why Miatas can be completely stock and go to the track and dominate. They are so light, they handle so well and for the power to weight ratio they do really really good so these are some advanti wheels they all look really good so um what else we got here ah there's a little hidden treasure a little hidden treasure back here if we look underneath back here there it is trailer hitch so uh, you can load up some wheels and tires and go to track day have to have a blast and then load it up and take it all home so I think that's pretty much all I was gonna cover on the exterior under the hood the wheels oh the mirrors are actually pretty sick uh, definitely not stock I think he does have the stock wheels if you'd like them to go with the car, but it's a cool look. It's very uh, race inspired aircrafty. So let's take this thing for a little spin. When we hop inside, we got our basic gauges. Let me close this door correctly. So that's the mirror. It's definitely a good look. I like it. So you can see the AC works. It works really good. It gets nice and cold. There's something you don't see every day. A Momo wheel where the horn actually works. So let's take this thing for a little spin. Almost killed it. I mean, it, 
it runs and drives absolutely perfect. It corners so well. Like I know we're only doing like 15, 20 miles an hour, but man, it just turns and handles great. There's like no body roll. This thing's amazing. I don't know if I have to drive it around much more. This thing may not be available. It rides so good. Yeah, no body roll is nice. It goes through all the gears really nice. The billet aluminum shifter handle and e-brake handle are a nice touch. It does have, uh, I'm, so, I'm almost certain it's got a shifter in it, like a, like a shorter throw shifter. It definitely feels way better than a stock one ever would, so I'm sure that's the case. And looks like we got some race inspired uh, gas pedal. Unless that's stock, that'd be pretty cool. Let me see if I can get you a little bit of that exhaust note out here. Sounds pretty good. Oh, you want to rev it up for us? Yeah. Just a little bit? That sounds so good. So that's going to complete our little walk around test drive, virtual test drive of the 1990 Mazda Miata. You're going to have to be quick on this one because I don't think it's going to last long. It's super duper nice. There's literally nothing you can complain about. Um, I do believe the uh, owner has the original wheels too, the, uh, the flower design, whatever they call it. Um, so I think they're like six or seven spoke wheels or something, but thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe until next time.